Peace. I'm here with Guillaume. Hello. Hello, Guillaume. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Tired, but good. Can you just present yourself and uh, say what you do in circus? I'm a trapezist. I okay. do geotrapeze and I'm supposed to pop my flyer in the air and she does some acrobatic stuff. When did you start to do circus? What was your little story? How did you get into circus? I I started doing gymnastics. I've done gymnastics for a few years, like almost 10 years. Then during the summer I during the summer I started to do flying trapeze at Club Med okay. with some friends and I've done flying trapeze for a few years, for three years, and then I started to do ENC in Montreal, the National Circus School. And that's where I've met Aluk and now you work together. Now we're working together. Nice. So how how old are you now? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. And you started doing circus. Um... I started doing the National Circus School at twenty three, and I started flying trapeze at twenty. Okay, so it's pretty late, also. Yeah, I know. That's pretty cool. So now you're working since a year and a half with Anouk. Mm -hmm. What was the uh, the biggest thing that happened to you so far? What was like the most exciting thing that happened? The one I really remember that was when we get that mail from Cirque du Soleil. We are replacing some friends in Germany, and we had a mail from Cirque du Soleil saying, "Okay, can you come here now? We need you." And so we had to refuse to come now, but we like just a few weeks after we were starting five months collaboration with Cirque du Soleil. Yes, and was that, was that awesome. like was that like a, a dream come true thing? It's like you you wanted to work not even a dream because I wasn't like. That was not my dream because I was like, uh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> like. <laughs> Starting from Club Med and then yeah. going so far. Yeah, yeah, there was just videos I was watching, that's all, so you say. That wasn't even a dream. So yeah. when I started with Cirque du Soleil, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, of course. So what would be your biggest wish? Like if you could work for one company or in one show or something, is there one place you would really like to go? I would really like to do a new creation with some people I know, but I don't know which company that would be with. Maybe our own company. Mm -hmm. That's the dream of a lot of people in circus to create their own company and do stuff with their friends and stuff like this. So maybe that's my dream too. Nice. What is the next question? Ah, oh, yes. How many hours do you train if you are on tour and how many hours do you train when you're not on tour? Depending okay. how many shows we have a day. Okay. Uh, it's usually when we have two shows, we go on a trapeze for like. 20-30 minutes just to warm up and to actually get the feeling of the trapeze and the tempos that we do together and stuff and when we have just one show we can train a bit more like 45 an hour okay something like this and That's when I am just training and not on tour it's usually a two hours training on trapeze and then some workout flexibility <laughs> <laughs> No. Some splits. Some splits, over splits and contortion for me. <laughs> nice. Oh yes, in your opinion, what are three skills that you need to have to become a circus artist? Let's say you never or you want to become a circus artist and uh, what do you think are like three characteristics you really need to have? Open-minded, first of all, because circus is enough and there are so many different version of everything in circus, traditional, modern, uh, contemporary, and like a lot of stuff. So you, you get a, depending <clears throat> what you want to do and the inspirations that you have and stuff, you have to be open-minded, I think, first of all. Then 
second one, you gotta be in shape for what you wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't happen. Yeah, you, you cannot do everything like this. You gotta train a lot, a lot, a lot. So yeah, physically in shape to do what you wanna do and to be able to improvise and do stuff without thinking about it. And third one, determination because it doesn't come easily. You're gonna work for a while. Yeah. You have to stick to for it. For hours and hours to do a five minute act. Yeah. Yeah, that's what people don't see. Is that mm. a number of five minutes? You see the top of the yes. iceberg. Yeah. Do you have any any inspiration, like any artist you look up to and you would like to be like that person? Mm, I don't think because I'm discovering who I am every day, so there is no one I would like to be, except maybe a better artist. Yeah, that's a good answer. I think I would say the same thing. What is your favorite city to 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 train or to live or to to be? Um, I think we all would agree with that, but. Montreal is the main city, like that's where circus happen in the yeah. world. I mean, we have really good coaches there, really good places to work, to train, and there are so many different artists based there. So I think Montreal is the, the one. It's a place to be. Yeah, it's the place to be. To if train. you want to do trail circus. <coughs> yeah, it's true. Um, let's see, maybe one more question. You work together with a partner. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer to work with a duo or could you also imagine yourself to work by yourself? Or what's the, what's the difference? <coughs> I think that's a good question because <coughs> as a potter, um, you cannot become a potter if you're not uh, in the same like in your mind you're always like this to support people and to help people and stuff like this you cannot be a potter if you're selfish and do your own stuff and i think i i could but that's what i like to to be there to not just to help but to do something together it's way more interesting in a way like in so many ways actually to work as a duo yeah like alone, no, a duo is better. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is like the stupid, I hate this question because people always, I always get it, but maybe that's good to see different answers. How long do you think will you be performing on stage? There are different answers. The first one is when my body won't feel to keep going anymore. But also, I think you also can get tired of being on stage and you could have different inspirations in your life. You could like to create stuff to help people to be on stage or to manage people to be an artistic director or stuff like this. So yeah, there, there is a physical question but also, I don't know, when you're a circus artist, when you're an artist, you like to try different stuff. So, being on stage could be one of two stuff, and then you try something else. Yeah, I like that answer. One more question. I always have one more, <laughs> one more. Um, if you could do, <coughs> what would be like the discipline you would like to do, but you can't do because of your body or your shape or your you didn't start early enough, or or is there is there one? I recently starting, started to do passing a lot okay. and I really enjoy it. I wish I had started before and I'm gonna keep training on that. I, I know I won't be uh, <laughs> able to to be as amazing as some people are doing passing now but I really like it just for fun. It would yeah. be nice to keep going on it. Cool. Mm. Is there something else you want to say? I don't know. <laughs> In general? Um, fly high, fly safe. 
that's what we used to say in flying trapeze. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for this interview. You're the, my very first interview, so we all see how it worked out. Yay! <laughs> and uh, I wish you the best of luck for everything you do. Merci! Daria. C'est cool. C'est drôle, ça fait bizarre un peu. Surtout de parler en anglais si on parle jamais en anglais ensemble.